Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is issue 129 of Mini Trucking Magazine, September 2002. Before we get started, I did want to let you guys know if you want to check out our website, we've got some of the retro merch on here. Uh, the shirt's available in two colors since the pre-orders ended, but we have four choices of hats. So a lot of guys ask for flex fit. So you've got flex fit here, or excuse me, um, uh, flex fit here and then snapbacks here. So a couple of different colors. Look for more to come very soon. Now, as we jump into this issue, we have Kevin Kunze, I believe is how you say his name. K-U-E-N-Z-I-E, -E, 94 Toyota pickup, super hot model, Emma Harrison. This is Negative Camber's 11th cover truck and Wes Allison's 36th credited mini truck and cover. This truck, of course, was shot indoor by Wes. Wes was a master, uh, still is, but these indoor photo shoots are really top notch. Now, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll tell you how many covers have had a Toyota OEM on the cover so far. So with that being said, you basically have the truck here we can see, inflate your ego, so air compressors 101, and um, the indoor photo shoot, suspension and chassis, bolt on and beyond. I'm covering this because I tend to kind of look over some of those uh, call outs. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in here. We got Ultra Images ad. You can see again, they continued to switch these up a little bit, um, which was cool because it gets old looking at the same ads over and over again. Although many of them do what they were supposed to do. You can see here the photo of Kevin's Toyota. Super slick. Nothing too crazy with the table of contents here. You got the hard body and you got a couple of minis there. Of course, they were pushing their website pretty big at the time okay the scrub line by lance he talks a little bit about having air suspension back to the 80s and he's talking 89 with air shocks so uh many of us had air shocks at one point i can say i did as well on the rear of my s10 the spring break nats not to be confused with spring break nationals in daytona here you see chad lucas's pathfinder I got a chance to hang out at Chad's house when we went to uh, Rezzo for the severed 10th anniversary back in December. Was it December? I always get it confused. There's tuck lugs. December of 02 or December of 03, I think it was 02. Going into 03. Good time. Still friends with Chad to this day. And that Pathfinder is, of course, bounced around a good bit. Here you can see the hard body, there's steel flame. Good times. If you like what we're doing here, leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji, thumbs up. Uh, all that stuff definitely helps. The, continu the channel does continue to grow, so I certainly appreciate that. Platinum Crush, more mods than a porn star. Jim Morris, 96 Ford Ranger, Huntington, North Huntington, Pennsylvania. This is uh, Live Life Topless, which is uh, one of my Instagram accounts. This is definitely that topless life. Pretty cool. Something a little bit different. Um, you can see here everything capped off. Not everybody would do this because typically you'd be able to throw the top back on, roll the windows back up. But, you know, some of these trucks went through more mods than others. And uh, certainly a, an awesome truck worthy of a feature. Shout out to Phil Fowler. Kind of reminds me of his colors a little bit. A little bit. Phil Fowler, the OG. Okay, so we're moving right along here. Uh, I'm going to try to get back on track of doing a few of these a week. I think I was kind of putting out too many of them at once. Uh, but now I'm, I'm going to get back in the rhythm, hopefully. Here you have Lance. He does the feature of Grant Brown's uh, Doug Grape Ape. There was, towards the end of trucking, there was a truck um, featured, a Mazda, and it was called the Grape Eight. If anybody happens to know, is there a tie-in to this? I assume not, because this was subculture and this was up in Washington. 
uh, or Oregon area, we could see the uh, technically British Columbia, Canada. So pretty cool truck. Dig the wheels, colors, fantastic. Shout out to Subculture. Uh, speaking of that, shout out to Extreme Lows as well. They're uh, featured in the new street trucks uh, at the time of this recording, June 12th of 2023. But um, I say that because, you know, the new street trucks that's coming out is featuring Extreme Lows. And again, they did celebrate their 30th at Mini Nats. That just happened to pop into my mind when I was giving a shout out to Subculture. A lot of good kinfolk out there. We appreciate all the support. Here is the uh, Tacoma from Severed Vegas that was on the cover that we recently saw. Here we have Forbidden Fantasy. Show's been around a long time. Show and shine. This was the fifth annual event. I know Brian said for a long time, a few years back, several years back, I talked to him and they had always, he, his goal was always to, to have it at least 20 years and they've hit that mark. Even with the COVID situation, the world went through, they were able to still maintain totally polished Ranger appeared on the cover of tailgate issue number two, I believe it is kind of a rare issue, a little bit harder to find make offer. You can see the truck is still for sale. Funktastic, my kind of word, bringing the funk captain style. So this is Kevin, should have said at the beginning, Captain is the nickname, of course, for Kevin. And you got a, an amazing model, awesome truck, good contrast with her color on her clothes. Uh, art department did an awesome job. Again, 94 NC truck. Again, the 11th NC uh, truck to be on the cover. And then Emma Harrison with that centerfold. And, of course, I don't talk about this a lot, but you can see the staples right here. You know, that was by design because a lot of people would, you know, bend the staples. Comment below if you ever bent the staples or did you just rip it out? Rip the staples, rip it out, whatever. You can see here the chaotic logo we talked about not too long ago and uh that's definitely a classic little touch there chaotic customs at the time and of course he's over at count customs now awesome truck full stereo through the crawl through there behind the seats super clean engine bay firewall some chrome and then check out the interior one more time awesome stuff really an awesome cover truck some of these trucks were just so awesome and clean that i don't think they get the credit that they're due all these years later although we know the trucks the, the real money truckers know southern showdown again there's that one of those words that um has long lasted in the mini truck scene showdown throw down a couple of those words uh we could see here this would have been an opportunity to see sean carlson's Forerunner, of course, at the time, he had sold it and it went over more towards the East Coast or rather the Midwest. I got a chance to see it at Indy Truck Bash as well as this guy here. Pretty certain that was one of the trucks I saw. Kentucky Fried Fun. And we can see here, I recently posted the S10 from NC. That thing was awesome, featured in street trucks. Got a chance to see it two years in a row at Indy Truck Bash. Here you have Nick Contini, 96 S10. Uh, something a little bit different. I think there's only one. There's only one construction zone. So they did kind of um, alter that as needed based upon uh, content for the issue. Here you have the compressor quiz. What's ironic is after all these years, Vi Air is still the king. And I don't think anybody can really dispute that. Um, fun fact, at the beginning of OLP, every single uh, podcast episode, you hear the compressor and you hear air valves. And I recorded that. And uh, that is, of course, Vire compressors and a VU4 AccuWare, uh, both partners to a certain extent at OLP. 
Um, Vieira's helped us in the past. We've helped them. We've had them on. And the good people. Life in the fat lane. I want more from my truck than just the ability to throw sparks. So he talks about next phase or next please just with different projects and stuff. That's kind of a, a theme that Mike would write a lot about because he was always in the cool projects. Um, you can see here, yellow, good amount of color. Still not 100% in color, believe it or not. We're back to 2002. Of course, September, as I mentioned at the beginning. And that's 20 years ago, give or take. Almost 21 years ago. Here's Desert, Desert Dragger. I think they do part one and part two in here. So shout out to Lance. Uh, very cool truck. Very cool project. And uh, Desert Dragger. Not Desert Dragger. And then you can see again some of these ads. They did eventually change. They went more color. Uh, we're going to continue this journey. We have over 100 issues left. 140? It's a lot. Uh, we saw this in the table of contents. I didn't call out. This was R.A. Jim Voigt. Tyler, Texas. You can see right there. El Diablo. See the R.A. logo. Lexian back window. Again, still popular in this era. Billet. Mirror. Super clean. Painted dash, which was uh, definitely a cool mod. Still continue to see that. Again, if you like what we're doing here, check out OLP. You can go to ourlifestylepodcast.com. You can buy stickers like this. Uh, you can also find ways to listen to the podcast. Check that out. Did anyone ever buy any of this stuff? I did have mini truck and shirts. I never had the jacket. I never had the bag. never had the hoodies. Um, I don't know that I even ever had a hat. But you can get those now through your mini truck and headquarters at, uh, as I said, our, O-U-R, lifestylepodcast.com. Check them out. You can see kind of going through this one a little bit quicker just because you see the content and that's what we're covering. There's that photo I keep talking about. Probably the most printed photo in mini truck in history. Again, taken right here, not too far from my house in Tampa at the fairgrounds. My friend Matt Torgerson, shout out to Matt. Body dropped that S10. The guy's name was Brandon. I think it was a two and a half body drop. Two and three quarters, something like that. And Big Ballin, BG Ballin. There's Mike Finnegan with the truck on the trailer. Good times. Let me know what you guys think. Again, issue 129, Mini Truck and Magazine. And you could certainly go to our website to buy this sticker and other items, as I said. Thank you guys so much for the support. Stay on the rise. If you haven't subscribed, I'm going to go ahead and flash that now. Please do so. We got you. Peace.